So I was in Japan a few years ago and I was in uh, Kyoto and I entered this art gallery. And guess what? They had like a mini station over there where you could have your own woodblock printing. Right. Did you get one? It was totally free of charge. The lady's like, yeah, look, this is the process. And I was so excited. And I had my own little like, uh, you know, woodblock print. Mm -hmm. I know you're also a, a Japan geek. I am a Jap Japan geek. Ja Japan geek. Well, for me, the love of Japan comes from martial arts and obviously later on movies and art and every everything that's Japanese. What about yourself? Well, I would say I'm a Japan Fanboy, I mean, fan not a geek, because okay. I don't actually know a whole lot about it. Okay, so that's the yeah. difference, right? What's I, I, the difference? Mm, I guess so. <laughs> uh, f yeah, for me, I've always been into Japanese art, of course. Um, I mean, you would, I would surmise that most young aspiring artists at some point go through a Japanese art phase, mm. right? Anime, manga. Um, Japanese art is very accessible from a young age, right? If you look at, compared to like classical Western art, it's not really accessible to teenagers i mean sure you can look at it but they don't you know it's not modernized they don't connect yeah, so japanese are you connect with it at a young age and and it goes up from there and for the western world there's also that mysticism that's there's, about it uh, there, there's and that the too. idea that this is like in a far far away land mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is well, that what did yeah while did you, you would go to a, a local uh museum and you would see like expressionist art and yeah. so on and so forth yeah, yeah. and like there's nothing japanese here like where, where's the japanese stuff yeah, yeah. In in my art history, art appreciation courses, uh, in high school, college is, you know, ninety five percent Western art. Obviously. Western art, because well, I don't want to say because I don't really know, you know, the exact reason why. Mm -hmm. I could I can guess, but yeah, so just be... going back, wh where is the uh, where is the fanboy coming from? The ja Japan Japanese fanboy. Well, like I said, it all starts with accessibility. You know, Japanese art is still current and it's still changing right obviously it goes back you know way back but there's japanese art is still evolving is still moving forward um and i think that's why most people like me get drawn in at an early age and it goes deeper and deeper and deeper right you start with i don't want to say shallow but like i'm gonna say shallow things like manga and anime like surface level surface level. although, although surface even level. for manga it's yeah. like it's it's, a, it's an amazing art form exactly <clears throat> but you can really go in, and as you go in, it just keeps going and going and going. So it's very easy. That's kind of how I've spiraled into that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest of the culture and everything follows once you get into the art. But it was the art that I got into at first.